Hey, 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 Uncle Mark in the mothership, three string, cigar box guitar. This is part two of a two part uh, treatment lesson of The Night They Drove Old Dixie Down. This is a fantastic song. It's got a lot of, how shall I say it, uh, challenging phrasing. Uh, you've seen some of the chord phrasing, but now we're going to start looking at all of the flourishes. So the uh, intro that moves into the first verse, second verse, third verse. So, like in the first lesson, we talked about the difference between E minor, 4-2-0, and 4-2-4. Four, four. I like the E. Um, I readily grab the E faster. And this is mostly me and my ear. Your ear is different, and it's going to be different. So, I want you to be able to use both chords interchangeably. That would be ideal for you as a player and that way you can determine at the moment how you want it to sound and these are just ideas but I think they're good ideas and I think uh, that if you're willing to give it a go I think you're going to discover that you may find E works better than E minor you may find A minor works better than A you may want the challenge of an A minor that does this. Okay? Nine, seven, five. You may want that challenge and you may input that at a specific time just to be challenging. Or look, we all like to show off too. So just to show off. Sometimes we, we like that. That's fine. Um, we got a storm going on. I think my lights are going on and off. So it's kind of kind of weird, little brownouts. So, what we're doing here, there's a couple of things. So I'm going to go through this one more time. I do want you to see my companion video. So I'm going to play this just like I played it on the um, companion video. And I'm even going to put my slide on here. And I'm going to show you how, to, how I did this. So at a good clip. What did I do? So, with the slide on, it takes your pinky away from fretting. So let's take it off for a second, and without using the slide, I would do this. Open, two, three, four, five, slide to six, go to the D string, open, two, one, two, make your chord. the slide you have to move this finger more times okay so there's a game you got to play how do I want to approach this chromatic walk up the neck walk up up the neck this way down the neck this way or like I like to think of it up the ladder down the ladder if you think of it like a ladder, it makes a lot more sense because if you saw music in a music book, you would notice that it goes up in pitch and goes down in pitch. So it walks slowly up and walks slowly down. Down is towards the headstock, up is towards the box. Some people get very confused in this. So down, up. G, A, B flat or A sharp, B, C, C sharp. Now we're going to move to the D string, D, D sharp, E. So if you notice, my hand is kind of splayed out here so that it's easy for me to grab. 
with the slide, I'm a little bit handicapped. And it took me a little while to figure out which finger I wanted it to be on, which finger I wanted to take away. And now, of course, I have to play my E chord a little bit differently here. So these are the things when you would shed your song, you have to decide how you want to how you want to work this or if you want to wait for the solo and just grab the slide off your, you know, you got a little table right here and you can all right, I'm ready to go and then hit it. So that's how I would shed it this. But the notes So you're walking up the ladder. Even though you're changing strings, you're walking up the ladder. So then you go through the song and to come up to C. A typical progression, C, C with a B, A minor. We talked about the A minor versus A. We're going to play A in this song. You don't need the minor. If you feel like playing the A minor, you go right ahead. It looks like that. Two, two, five. I just play the A. I don't see the, the, the need. That extra C note to me doesn't add to the song. And by not playing it, it doesn't take away from the song. And maybe that's what I'm getting at. So, C. B, C. So what I do is just slide a little bit. A. So. Virgil Cain is the name, and I served on the Danville train. So did you see how I maneuvered that? I walked up to E, played my G, a, B, C, and then sometimes I slide like so and get that, or I stay that way. But what you're doing is, is going B, G, C, and then A. So that's how I play that walk up to C and walk down, out of C to A minor or A, however you like to do it. There's a little spot in the end. So, A, B, open. When I was a young guitar player, that was very difficult for me. And I don't know why, but it happened to be very difficult. So if you have trouble with this little weird part in this song, which is truly important to this song, it kind of breaks everything, then, you know, it's okay. So it's two, four, D string open, G string open, C chord. Now, when I decided to play slide on this, what I wanted to do was have a little solo. So instead of E here, I decided to go with E here. I decided to go with the G here. C, slide down to A, go back to E, go to G on the 12th fret. So what I did was is... On the ninth fret, G on the twelfth fret, C, B, A on the second fret, E on the ninth fret, G on the twelfth fret, C, B, A 
back to E to C. If you notice, I'm sliding into these bars. So that's what I was thinking. And that got me thinking that maybe if I want G and A up here, E to C, G, C. So there's a lot you can play with in this song if you understand your inversion. Four two four and your E on nine nine nine, which on a slide would be that fret exactly. So that's my thinking. What I wanted was a solo that wasn't difficult, something that I could play with with my kick drum and my hi hat, something also that that kind of messed with the song a little bit, and something out of the ordinary. So that's what I decided to pull out the slide and to play with it. And when I woodshedded the song, I moved around trying to figure out the best ways to do it and then just stumbled upon what I liked by listening to the song. So that's a lot of, of how I do song smith and how I woodshed. So what I'm trying to do is add, add something to the song that is not too complex, because if it's too hard, then obviously I can't do it, and you know. Um, and that adds to the song, doesn't take away from the original, you know, adding to the song and not taking away from the original are, are two separate things. You can add to the song, but you're adding something that doesn't work well within that framework or structure. So, Think about that as you would shed this and uh, as you would shed your other songs and decide how you want to play with them and keep the so faithful to the song, faithful to you, me, you, and make the song creative enough that it makes you feel good when you play it. And using your ear and your skill and your technique really, really helps. Um, if you're looking for a better technique, um, definitely check out my workshops, my lesson workshops, beginner and the intermediate, the boogie woogie and the slide will all help you. And there is links down below for that. Um, this is the three string songbook. Tess and I have made this. You can get it links below down in the songbook. You can get this on Amazon. It's easy, comes really fast, it's overseas as well. Lots of great reviews. You can read all that, but you know, if you want to learn to sing and play, you have to start now. Start now. And then as you build up to better and better songs, your playing will get better and better too. And it's a it's a um one of these things that works together. You're singing, you're playing, your singing gets better because you're doing more of it. Your playing gets better, you're doing more of it. And all of a sudden, you're a more complete musician. And that's what Tess and I want to do with this book, is make you a more complete musician. And so you'll have fun with this. So we're a 100% donation channel. Thank you for everything you do for us. It really, really helps a lot. And I hope you gain a little bit more knowledge on how to woodshed songs by, by this. And also look at those workshops. Um, they really will help you. I promise. They will help you. If you like my style of teaching, you will really dig in and uh, open up your vein to a, a really healthy dose of a little bit of theory and a little bit of common sense. So uh, thank you so much for everything you do. This is a great song. Enjoy it.